Question two. Circle either true or false for each of the following statements. A hexagon has six sides. This is a hexagon here with six sides. That is true. A trapezium has a pair of parallel sides. So a trapezium looks like this. Uh, and the parallel sides are represented by these little arrows here. And that means they are parallel. Now parallel means that two lines will never ever meet. So you can keep drawing these lines as far as you can and they will never cross over or touch. So this is one pair of parallel lines. Uh, these two lines are not parallel because if I kept drawing them, if I extended them, then they would end up crossing over. So that means they're not parallel. So it is true that a trapezium has one pair of parallel lines. A parallelogram has two sides that are perpendicular. So a parallelogram looks like this. Uh, perpendicular means that two lines meet at a right angle. So none of these uh, lines actually touch at a right angle. If I was to draw a line straight up here, that's not there. Here, here, here. So that is false. Parallelogram. No sides meet at a right angle. An octagon has six lines of symmetry. This is an octagon here. If I start by drawing the lines of symmetry through the uh, vertices, so I could draw a line here. And this side would be exactly... Uh, the same, it would be reflected in this side. We could do the same here and here. And through the next line. So, so far I've gone through all the vertices and I've drawn one, two, three, four lines. Now I can go halfway in between them. I could go right down the center. For another one, two, three, and four. So if I count how many I've done now, this was one line going down here, two lines, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've only gone halfway across the shape now because obviously if I count this one here, I've already counted that as the first one, this was the second one, the third and so on. So the eight sided shape, the octagon has eight lines of symmetry. So that is false. A kite has no lines of symmetry. A kite looks like this here. And as you can see, that's false. Because if I put a line straight down the middle of that shape, then this side would be identical to the other side. So that is also false. So the examiner will give you two marks if you have all five of these correct and one mark if you have four correct. Anything less than that will be zero marks. Part B. Each of the numbers 1, 4, 5 and 7 oh, once only fill in the blanks to make each statement correct. So something times something take away 3 equals 17. So the trick here is to change that take away 3 to an add 3 to give you 20. So then we're saying something times something equals 20 and then take away 3 would be 17. So what times what using these numbers, which numbers times together to make 20? The only numbers that times together to make, that make 20 are 4 and 5. So let's just double check. 4 times 5 is 20. Take away 3 is 17. The next one, 42 divided by something, add on something else, 
gives you seven. So we're left with four, seven and one at the minute. So if I had 42 divided by one, that would be 42. Add on what would give me seven. If I add seven there to 42, it wouldn't give me seven. So the only option to have this would be seven and one. So if we double check that, 42 divided by seven is six. Add on one is seven. So you'll have one mark for this one correct and this one correct. These don't have to be in the same order. You could have five here and four there and that would still be right. But in this box, you would have to have them in the correct order, seven in this box and one in that box. Each one will get you one mark.